Good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman's back with you again on Lake Monticello on Monday morning. And uh, hey, it's kind of breezy. The sun's just now coming up. And we got the setup where you look at the fish finder today with a reflection of me in a mirror. Is what we got. Hey, glad y'all could be with me again on, a, uh, on another episode of Love and Life. And today, I'm going to let y'all look at me in the mirror and the fish finder at the same time. And you see right there on that, that split screen of the fish finder, right there, right in that corner right there is where you need to be looking. As it comes into that line right there, that's where the fish will show up. On the right screen, it'll be on the far right, right at the bottom. But the left screen is the blown up portion, so it's four times bigger than what's on the right screen. I'm getting a couple bumps they ain't got under there yet. You see a little bit of red right on the bottom, that's perch. Probably a little one. But that's red on the bottom is perch. And I'm gonna try to uh, spend the day showing you more about the fish finder. Hey, if they bite. I had a hard time yesterday. Come out here, caught a few, got a little bit of uh, a footage, but hey, we might tie some of this in with yesterday's also. But the fish, since the cold front come in, have, have shut down a little bit. We got to get back on them. They moved on me. And uh, we, we are here searching. But thanks for being with me on another episode of Love and Life. The old fisherman. And I uh, hey, appreciate each and every one of you for watching my show. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Tell your friends about the old fish. Down. We got a few down there. And I got one on. I think I got a bass on. I believe I got a bass on already. What I think I got on the bass. I'm going to play him out. Got a boat coming by. I definitely got a bass. Definitely got a bass on. A good one too. I think I might have two. I think I might have two. I don't know, I got one nice one. Right off the bat. Right off the bat. Y'all bear with me. I hate the camera ain't on the fish now. But that's the situation with the dog on camera like it is. Big bass. Big bass. Big bass. Big bass. Big bass. Big bass. I can get the head of him. Big bass. That's a big one. That is a big one. That is a jumbo. Oh my. I'm in a jumbo. That's a big fish. That is a big fish fry. First thing y'all feel this morning. Look at him, what a bass. That is a big one. That is a whopper. I believe I might have had two, one of them broke off, I think. I don't know yet. But I can tell you this, it's over five pounds. He's a good one. He's a good one. Yep, I had two and one broke off. Show the world. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. We had two big ones on. Look at the size of that bass. Look at that. Look at the size of that bass. That's a jumbo magnum, that buddy. That is a beauty. Do you see the bass right there on the bottom? Hey, that right there is a big bass. I'm gonna throw this bass back because I've got no reason to keep this bass, but I ain't gonna throw him back until I get my thing. I'm gonna put him in the live well, but look at that. Look at the size of that doggone bass. You got to love it. That joke will weigh about five pounds, so he's a good one. And I had two big ones on. Button broke off. We well, always do. They always do. Hey, we will get right back with you after I tie it off. We got a few right there on the bottom. Let's turn it back on. We've had two to break off, believe it or not. Can't seem to get them to hold on when I get two at a time. Hey, yes. He nailed it, too, buddy. He come up and destroyed it. I believe it's a perch. He come up and destroyed it. Nice perch. Got a blue head. Um, we got some blue heads. Quarter ounce head. You see it right there. Look at the fish down there now. Look at the fish down there now. Uh-oh. This line's messed up. Got to get it straightened up. We'll have a mess up now. All right. All right. Got a blue head on that on that big old three-inch jig. 
Hey, we got a few fish down now. They coming and going. You see, they going already. Right, I dropped well, this jig back down. It might make them pull around here. We got out in our middle of the day place. It's a cloudy day. The fish just ain't biting. So I thought I'd come on right here and see if we can find some out here in the middle. It's uh, been a tough day. I can't find them. But there's one right there. You see, he's a little bit stirring up down the bottom. Maybe we got the right place now. Maybe we're at the right place now. You see a couple stirring up right there on the bottom. And we got one. We got one. Y'all see him a small one, but he, hey, it's one. We use a three inch uh, Charlotte Brewer bass jig. And, uh, and we're using an inch and a, a two and an eighth inch uh, swimming metal. Both of them blue and chartreuse, or blue and green. But we just can't seem to get on any fish. Maybe this is gonna be the spot. See, it's slick right now, you don't see a thing. Them juggles are laying tight to the bottom is why. That's why you ain't seeing nothing. They tight to the bottom. When that jig gets down there, you'll see something stir up a little bit on the bottom, hopefully. That's what it takes. There he is. See him stirring up right there? Hey, they coming up. See him come up? They come up and got it. Come off the bottom and grab it. Now I, I missed it. But hey, you see them right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's fish. And them jokers, you don't even know they're there until you start fishing for them. They was laying flat on the bottom and think about it. feeding. When I pulled up here, there was no shad, nothing. Just slick bottom. Now you're seeing some stir up now that I've started to fish. And that's the key. All right. <clears throat> Get it back down. I think we can catch a couple. I don't know how big they are. But there's a couple down there. I think they're kind of willing to bite. We're going to find out. Might have the two bigger jigs on. I don't know. They can get one that time. Ain't much stirring up. I got a feeling it's going to... They just ain't in a feeding mood because... It ain't sunshiny, they can't sky like that jig coming up like they ought to. And they're not feeding. All right, folks, we got a drove of them on us right now. See them right there on fish man? I got one on. Hey, got two on. I moved in a little shallower, and boom, there they were. Hey, we put a, the, another rod out there with a darker jig on it, and that little tiny one-inch jig, I wanted to see if they bite it, and they caught one on each one of them. Pull it back out and see what we can do. See if we can stir them back up. At least we caught a couple. Kept changing rods, changing location. We had 41 foot of water. We ain't far from where we just started, but hey, it was a few there. Let's see if we can bring them back. Right now, you don't see them. Right now, you don't see them. All right, there's the bottom. You see a few stirring up because they seen that jig going down. See if they'll bite it. Yep, there he is. Hey, there he is. Now you see them stir up. See them come up now? Look at them. Look at them coming up. There goes another one. That's number two. Hey, you see them stirring up on that left string and right, but the left string four times bigger than the right. Hey, we got some down there and they're stirring up these jumbo magnets. Look at him. Look at him, what jumbos. You see them? Look at that. Look at that, what jumbos. Nice ones. Hey, we finally got the right combination. I tell you, buddy, they hard until you can get them going. Well, I finally got the right combination. They hitting that little one inch G, little tiny G. Little black chartreuse one inch G with a tiny little G here, 30 second. From a uh, slider G. See the little G? All right, let's drop it back down. See, they settle back down. You don't see them now. But right there on the bottom, Right there, you see a little hump right there, a little red and stuff right there? That's fish laying tight. When I drop this thing down, start reeling up, they'll come off that bottom and bite. Is what, see them right there, they see it coming. See them, see them raising up off the bottom, they see the jig coming. That's what they see. They see it coming down to them. When we get it on the bottom and start reeling, one ought to take it, hopefully. One ought to take it. Okay, there's the bottom right there, let's reel it. All right, and there he is. See what I mean? We gotta figure it out, don't we? That's what I'm talking about right there. 
and now it's stirring up. See them stir up? We didn't get but one, but it's stirring up now. Drop back down. Now you see that Christmas tree looking red and purples? Them's fish. Them's fish. We got it on spot lock, so I ain't even worried with trolling motor as long as they'll bite like this. It's easier. We can fish straight on them if they'll bite. You see them right there, that reds, orange, off that yellows. The yellow is the thick bottom, the reds and the oranges is fish laying on the bottom. That's what that is. That's what it is. All right, there's the bottom. Let's see if we can get one of them to bite. There he is. Oh, I missed him. He hit it. He is again. We got him again. We got him again. There they come again. Oh, there goes the second one. There goes the second one. Oh, my, there goes the second one. Hey, Daisy. Come in here, boys. Look at that. Huh? Two at a time. Lake Monticello. Loving life. Come in here, boy. Now they're hitting, sir. Now they're hitting. And they hit that little one inch uh, jig, too, now. That thing's little. That thing's really little. But they're hitting it. Hey, let's drop it down. See, then it'll settle back down to the bottom again. All you can see is a little bit of reds in there. Them yellows and reds are schools of fish laying right there on that bottom. Look like little humps and craters. That's fish. Most people would not even fish that. Now, when I drop my jig down, you will see them come up. Now, it's getting closer to getting down. Now, you ought to see them start coming up, especially when I start reeling it up. When I get it down, start reeling it up, they're going to run after it. Okay, right there they are. Let's see if they'll come up. There he is. Now, let's see if they'll come on the bottom and stir them up, come off the bottom. Well, we got one. You see them little oranges and reds right there a little bit. They ain't coming up like they normally do, but we got a fish. We got a fish. Right, folks, we got a few coming in down there. I got one on. you see them down there on the bottom. Maybe they're going to start hitting now. Drop back down, see if we can get another See them right there on the bottom a little bit. Not much, not a lot, but some. So we drop back down and catch a nut. You can see just a little bit stirring up now as my jig gets down there closer to them. They see it coming. All right, I'm gonna drop it down there and see if we can't catch one of them. All right, there's the bottom. See if we can stir one up. There's an, oh, that was a bite. And I missed it. Tough day, tough day. There he is, he nailed it. He nailed it. He come up and got it. You see them stirring up now off the bottom. As I'm bringing them up, that's when they really stir up. When I bring them up. I think they're missing out on something. I tell you, they're not hitting that little jig. They're hitting that doggone bigger jig at the bottom. 38 foot, right there it was, 40. <clears throat> A lot of fish right there on the bottom. You can tell. It looks different than that slick yellow, and it comes up starting to get a little reds in it. Well, them's fish. Them's fish right there. There's some red, more reds coming up now. I'm dropping that jig. When I go to pulling one, probably gonna bite this time, right off the bat. What I'm thinking, anyhow. Let's see. Yep, there he goes. There he goes. There goes another. You got might be getting them going now. See, getting them going now. See that red? That's a good view of the fish finder. Let me get my one though. They ain't eating it up and they ain't whoppers. They just, they ain't a lot of big ones right here. But I can show you what they're looking at, looking like. Pop back down, see if we can get a nothing. You see them right there, them reds and yellow humps? On that left screen, it shows better on the left screen. That's why I keep saying left screen. Right screen's got the same exact thing, but you can see how much smaller it is when you look at it on the right screen. Can't hardly see it on the right screen, but it's blown up enough that you can see it better on the left screen. Right now it's slicking off. 
You don't see nothing. They moved on or they went flat back down to the bottom. So what we got to do is get down and try to stir them back up. They moved on, I think. Let's see if we can't get them back up here. Jokers won't stay long. There comes a couple right there. See them, see them reds? That's a couple coming back in now. See if we can get one of them. There he is. Got him. We got him. We got him. Got two, I think. You see them stirring on up, coming up with him. If I have my three rig, I might catch three. But hey, we got two. Two at a time. We're going to chuck him back. That one. We'll probably keep this one. All right, let's get it back down. Hey, we're catching a couple. Slow day. Not real big right here. It might be big somewhere else. Drop them back down. Stir them up. To the bottom. There's the bottom. Okay, let's start reeling. There he is. He nailed it. I mean, he nailed it. Oh my. What? He creamed it. That's a little bit bigger than the way he hit it. Unless two hit at the same time. Ain't got but one. I told you he's bigger. See that? That's what I'm talking about. A lot bigger. That, that's a pound purse. Got him on a little tiny one inch grub. One inch. Charlie Brewer, Slider G. Put it to the bottom where the big boys lie. We might catch a mess of fish yet. That's why you can't give up. Fish don't bite all the time. Sometimes you can put them in a feed, and that's what we're doing here. Now you don't see nothing. Slick. You think ain't nothing there. You watch it when I start pulling off the bottom. Might be one there. You just don't know. You start reeling it. There he is. See what I'm talking about? Now look at it. look at fish finding. See him stirring up. See him stirring up. What I'm talking about? He's stirring up now. Off the bottom. Stirring up. Hey, that's a nice one too. Look at that. Look at that sucker. That's a good one. Huh? That's a good one. Using a black head on this three inch uh, grub slider, three inch will cut down about two inch. What I've done, I've been about an inch off of, off of this one. All right, look at fix finder, you don't see a thing. Nothing. 40 foot, nothing. Slick. Nope, there comes one off right there, that line. You see that one? That's where it's entering the zone as it rolls through. That's where you start seeing them. You see one down there. Now, there goes my jig down there. Some days you can see it, but a day you can't have to see it. But the jig's down on the bottom, right back close right now. We're going to reel it up and see if one will run up and get it. Nope. Didn't get it that time. Let's drop right, back folks, down. We cheese jigs. We got a purple pearl finesse grub on there. And I'll show it to you in a minute. And I think that's what they want. Seems like they're biting the purple pearl finesse grub in this doggone cloudy weather. I've changed around, and that's what they're biting. And I'm gonna show it to you. Uh, slide by, made by slider. And right there is the way it looks. Look at that thing. I got a, one a top jig too. A little finesse purple pearl jig. Hey, I put it on. I got two bites right off the bat. I'm thinking, hey, maybe that's what I need. They wasn't hitting other stuff. I done, try, I done tried everything. Catch a couple and they quit. Might do the same thing with the purple pearl. But when I dropped the purple pearl down there, I caught two nice perch quick. It's a heck of a looking color, kind of like a peach color. But hey, they seem to bite it, I can tell you that. I get it down there. We have 46 foot of water. Y'all see it on the fish finder. Uh, you, know, you see a few fish laying on the bottom. They ain't stirring up, is what it is. We can see if they'll stir it with this purple pearl. 
They, I caught two now. They probably won't catch one. They one. There you. Hey, they're hitting purple pearl. Finesse jig. Believe it or not, they're hitting it. And you see it. And they're killing it too, buddy, on that eight, uh, eighth ounce head. I got one on the 32nd head. I ain't caught one on it yet. The eighth ounce black head, they're hitting it. So drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. We might be figured out what they want, the, the color they want. Or style. One or two, curl or style. These jokers are f uh, funny now. Sometimes they just don't hit everything. We got rain coming. I see rain, all sheets of rain coming. So we're going to catch a couple on this purple pearl, and then we're going to go. We're getting close to 25 or 30 now. Hey, it's been a slow day for me. We caught one nice bass earlier. I done released him. He's about five pounds. They hit this purple pearl, though. They're popping that thing. Hey, they're stirring off the bottom. See them right there stirring? Stirring off the bottom. Dropping it back down. You see my line's going back down there. Okay, it's getting right there where the fish is. Let's see if we can get one to bite it. Purple pearl. Uh oh. Can't believe it. I dropped it right unless he pulled it down. Could have pulled it down. Fish are here. They just ain't bite. And when you change, you find something that bites, you think you got what they want. Two or three fish later, they won't even hit it. So, hey, they'll hit something new for a second or two. All right, there's the bottom. Let's see if we can catch another purple pearl. I'm thinking something wrong with it now. They ain't hit it. They one bumped it right then. Ain't taking it though. Let me look at it, see if it's okay. Doggone it. Just when I think I'm on something, I ain't on something. And that's what happens. Oh, they pulled it down. See what happened? They got all messed up. They ain't really pulled it down. They about pulled it off the, the hook is what they done. They about pulled it off the hook. Try it again. That's plenty of fish there, you see them. Some good ones out here too. I'm gonna tell you, it's not good for deep water fishing in the doggone rain and cloud cover. It's not good. They all over the bottom. You see them. I mean, that's pure fish. All over that bottom. Well, I'll be catching them two at a time every time we drop it out. All right. Let's see what we can do. Ain't that something? They finally bumped it. Can't take it. I knew I done found something they wanted. There you go. Finally got another. Finally got another. Look at them stir up right there when I'm bringing them up. All kind of fish down there. And I come in with one fish. One fish. Ain't that something? That's something. They don't like the one that little head. Back down, we got plenty of fish there. It's a good day for showing the fish finally because it's cloudy and it's not a sun reflecting in it. So you can see what I'm looking at, but it's fish all over that bottom. We ought to be done filled with drum. But they're not stirring up like they normally do. They're just laying the, they're not feeding. You gotta put it on the bottom and pull it by. Catch them. What we doing? All right, there's the ball. Let's see if we can get one. Hey, he bumped it. There he is. Got him that time. He nailed it. He nailed it. What? He nailed it. I think we might have two. I kind of twisted it a little bit and he nailed it. Might have two. Oh, yeah. Two jumbos, too, buddy. You see what that pink jig could do? You see it, look at that. You see what that pink jig could do? Big old perch. That's why Stan ain't wanting to bite. Look at that, ain't that pretty? Hey, today, 
Oh, paint jig. I don't know what that looks like. It ain't no metal. It must represent a worm. That's all I can figure. Look at that. It sure don't look like no metal. A wiggle worm or something. Hey, put it back down. Hey, it might look like a mayfly lava or something. Mayfly lava is kind of that color. Who knows? All I know is I just caught two fish on it. I know that. And I still got them down there. You can see the yellow right there, how it balls off the bottom. Now that to me looks like shad, but it could be shad with fish and monks. When they separate is when I know they fish. When, it, when the purples and stuff gets in it. All right, there's the bottom. So we get another. Nope, not a bite. I believe that was school shad just come through. Now there, it looks to me like fish starting to come back right there on the bottom. Just don't tell how many fish are laying out there on that bottom. Probably blow your mind. See if we can get another on that worm. He bumped it. Didn't take it, but there they are. They ain't taking it now. work for them. I don't like working too hard. Well, they sure make them work for them because I know they're there. I guarantee you they uh Flip! Oh, they bit it. I missed him. He nailed it and I missed him. Probably done pull my worm down now. Hey, yeah. Uh, I went to twitching it. He nailed it. Couldn't stand that twitching. Couldn't stand that twitching. Come in here, boy. Come in here to the old fisherman. Hey, that's right, nice. Look at that. that little worm, something looking at it. I don't even know what it represents. They ain't hitting this one up here any good. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite the part of it off and. See if I can get it on the hook a little bit different. Might be too long. We're gonna change around on this one. It's like a two-piece body. Weird looking. Hey, we we gonna take the head part off. Drop it down, see what happens. I wouldn't be a bit surprised crappies wouldn't hit that thing. I can tell you that right now. I need to probably go by and check my brush one day. Somebody could be catching crap, isn't it? Getting on into the fall. See, we catch a couple more. Let y'all go. Long videos. We ain't caught a lot of fish, but we got enough to prove a point. All right, there's the bottom. And take it, and they're following it up. You see it. When I pull that jig up, see them come off the bottom? They're looking at it. They, they in particular want it either, but they, you know, ever so often want to bite it. Hey, oh, Lord, I'm not out of hand. He run up there. You see the school run up there. Take it. Not like I thought they was going to. Caught a couple. One of them days. Making them bite. They, oh Lord, he's hitting it. I ain't catching.
Amazing. Ain't touching. Hit it way up yonder. They don't want it. Run up there pecking at it. Hey, dog gone. I don't know what happened there. I had him for a little bit, he got off. Unless he broke off. I no, didn't break off. I thought that was gonna be the answer. Caught a couple and that now slowed up. I don't know if it is the answer today. Otherwise, it can keep moving and surprising a few at a time. That might be the answer. I got to go, the baseball game comes on about three o'clock, I think. Pulling for the Atlanta Braves. Pulled it out last night, last out. They done quit. There he goes. Right when I said they done quit, one comes up and nails it. I beg them too. Look at how they going. What? Look at them under that now. I tell you, if you could ever get them stirred up enough that they want to bite, you could tear them up. Right, that's a good fish. I don't know what he is, but he's heavy. My goodness, he's heavy, unless I got him snagged. I got two and one snag. Two jumbos and one of them snag. He didn't want it. He run up against it. You see it? Look at that. Caught him in the belly. Up under the chin. Brother. He didn't want it. He hit at it. You know they're down there when they do that. Dollar gun rascals. So we catch one more on old Pinky. Call him Pinky. And I don't really like pink colors, but hey, they catching a couple. Oh, Lord. I probably got 30, getting close to 30. I don't know, I'm guessing. All right, there's the bottom. He bumped it. I tell you, they like it twitching. Right off the bottom, they like it twitching. There he is. He nailed it. Hey, maybe we're figuring them out now. Might be done figuring them out. They like a little twitch. Instead of like a swimming minnow, they like a little twitch. Like a dying worm or something. Hey, figure them out now. Look at that. Two at a time. <laughs> Lake Monticello. A little one up there. All I done was twist it. And he nailed it. He nailed it. Try it again. Hey, talk like this. It's funny how every plug you got to figure out what kind of movement to put on them. You got to change things around. You ain't getting a bite one way, twitch it, stop it. Do all kinds of different things to you. Make mental note of what you're doing when you get a bite. That's what you got to do. Now, I don't see nothing right there. Now, if it's any there, they're laying flat. It might be a little bit right there. Let's see if we can make one come up and bite it. They might have run out down at the bottom when they bit that last one. All right, there's the bottom. Let's twitch it a little bit. There you go. That's what they want. They want it twitched. Left, left down on the bottom and twitch it. I got a little stiffer rod here. I got the caching rod and I can make a little twitch with it. And he nailed it. Hey, two at a time again. Look at that. 
We're figuring them out. Show us the world. We're figuring them out. That little tiny jig here at the top, though, all it's catching is babies. That's all it's catching, babies. It ain't caught no big ones at all with it. But we're going to put it back down. I'm thinking the twitching is the way to go. Drop it to the bottom with a big boy's line. There comes the rain again. I haven't missed fish yet. I'm getting hot now. I need to take this jacket off. I'm warming up a little bit. It's cool this morning. Drop it to the bottom and do a little twitch. See what happens. Alright. Uh-oh. That one ain't going to make it. There you go. Oh, they want it twitching. That's no doubt. Either. Oh, I'm figuring them out now. I'm figuring them out. That sucker ain't chasing, but they, they don't want it right there in his nose. He'll, he'll, he'll nail it. Look at that. Jumbo mag. I'm going to paint worm. What? Hey, they Ain't that something? Paint worm. There's the world. I'm liking that little pink worm now. I ain't got but one bag of them. They sent them to me. Right there's the, the colors of them. Right there you see them. It's called a uh, Slider G. It's an LFGL62 little paint, uh, little finesse grub purple slash pearl. That's what it is. And they hitting it. Not swimming it, but just pulling it off the bottom and twitching it. The way we catch them. Get it down there. And right now you don't see a thing on the bottom. But let's see if we can pull it off and twitch it a little bit, see if we can't make one bite of it. It might have left me. I ain't getting a bite now. You don't see them either. There comes a couple back right there. Let me get one of them to bite. Ain't taking it now. I'll bite too quick. Hey, we caught a couple of them on it. Move around a little bit. Getting real calm now. They'll probably eat it up this evening. They ain't really bit all morning. I've made the few I got bite. They don't quit now. Yeah, for a little bit they was hitting Pinky. There he is. He nailed it. He nailed it. I mean, he stuck it. Oh, there goes a nothing, I believe. I think a nothing done run up here and got it. I think we got two now. He stuck it. They'll probably start biting in a minute. It's starting to feel warmer. Look at him. Two at a time. Late Monticellus Jumbo Super Dog Magnums. I mean, good ones. On them pink jig. Ain't that something? Pink jig. Look at that. Huh, look at that. Pink G, pink worm. I hope you like uh, the little change up today.